Can scooter run on hydrogen? First we will make it real and afterwards we're gonna show you if it's useful or save some money and if it's comfortable to use hydrogen in our century. Last time my experiments with the scooter didn't go well. All exploded. We fixed the scooter and I see that something moved here. So we put it on its places. There it is, let's plug it back. We don't want something pop out again and this time we bought this one. This is a car gas reducer. This will make the gas flow in the right proportion and mixing it with air. Why do we even need this one if it's hydrogen? Hydrogen is just a gas and we're gonna use the propane gas regulator. Let us just try to install it first. We're gonna test the propane first. Now we're using the butane. It doesn't burn that much. That's with air and that's liquid. Closing. It is a flame gun. It burns very well. I have to cut off the hose. It's melted. Now you will see all that we will get here. There's an electro valve. We will give it 12 volts. There are two adjusting bolts. We try to use only one and control the gas amount. There is the gas hose itself. Low pressure. It goes right in the air buffer. Then it goes in the carburetor and the engine. He's making a hole for the air filter just to plug in this thing. The gasoline hose is blocked with a pencil because it was running out. There's a connection. We spent all the gasoline in the carburetor. The only issue here, we're gonna fix it, is this plastic hose. It loses some gas. We should have here the metal hose, but we don't. It is the hydrogen hose we use to get the hydrogen. As a source of power we have this kind of camping butane. Turning on the voltage, turning on the scooter. I hope it will not explode this time. And this thing makes me sure it will not. First kick. Did you open it? Yeah, I got it. We have a trouble here. No matter how we tried, we didn't make anything. It doesn't start well. I never stopped thinking what was wrong. But then it turned out that this reducer can't work without a desator. But we don't have any desator. I went to the shop and bought this tap. All is ready. And we're gonna try this beast. And of course you will see what we will get. I don't know how many times we tried already. I open it wider and there it is. Working stably. Well guys, the first time for the scooter, we're going to the riverside on gas. Look how it's gazing. How much gas do you have now? Hey, shake that bottle! So now if you feel the power drains down, just shake the can and go. And now we can go. Goes very well. We have got a surprise on the riverside. It is near the reducer. I was screwing it here and drop appeared. A leak? There is a hole inside. And from here... Now I see. Maybe this bolt. Look here. Oh my. It stinks. Smells awful. Oh my gosh. I wrote a post asking you how to make a scooter run hydrogen. And there are no answers still. Don't give me the old stinky prints that don't work. With so many mistakes. And other comments were not about the topic. Fancy that. So anyway, it works on gas. Next step is hydrogen. Do you wanna see something? We've been fighting with this last summer. The bottles. There's a dirty habit of our town fellows. People throw the bottles in the river. Then they go here and stuck. Just look how many of them here. A bit more of them and they will turn into a plastic bridge. Down the river happens capets. Just think how many bottles are there. There are many enough to make the water stop. Poor fish. That's a nightmare. I'm going to make a video about the solution of this trouble. I'm gonna make people clean all this. Let's go, we have to switch the scooter on hydrogen. 
Here it is. Now we can save some money buying propane. But tomorrow we will start making it work on the hydrogen and make a powerful hydrogen generator. You will see all this.